I think the most important thing about Alton is the region's haunted history. I mean, it goes back hundreds and hundreds of years, and everyone here in the community is well aware of it. Because of that, uh, there are so many different opportunities to go on investigations or to explore the paranormal or to go on a history walk and learn about Alton's history or Alton's haunted history. As a community, it's one of the, the most unusual things you can imagine. People have come together around this uh, here like no other place, and, and it, it's what defines us, to be quite honest with you. Hardly a week goes by where we don't have an investigation or, or an event going on in Mineral Springs, whether that's a paranormal investigation on a Friday night, followed up by another one on Saturday, or even a historic walking tour of the building on Sunday. There are dozens, if not hundreds of people that are coming to Alton literally every weekend to participate in one form or another of, of paranormal tourism. We have a lot of historians who come in and they'll want to know about the building or they'll want to know about the Lovejoy Monument and we're able to uh, guide them and show them where they can go or maybe even to the library to get some extra uh, information on that as well in the visitor center. August and Herman Luer built this hotel in 1913. They already had a, a slaughterhouse, it's what it was, a pork slaughterhouse in the sub-basement of this building, and the building was built on top of that. Um, when the hotel opened in 1914, this was the grandest hotel uh, really in all of Alton and probably in all of southern Illinois. It certainly boasted the largest swimming pool in, in the state of Illinois at the time, an indoor pool. Um, the rooms were opulent, there were orchestras who played in the building, the food was magnificent. This was a destination hotel it, it, and it stayed that way for many, many, many years. As things began to change and morph in the community, especially after World War II, and, and, and motels were invented, the Howard Johnsons, the Ramadas, and as the states, uh, the, the interstate system was developed, people began to bypass Alton. And as that happened, the industrial base here in the community began to, to be something less than it once was. And as businesses left and manufacturing left, what remained in the community were those people who, who wanted to see Alton through the, the toughest times in our history. Um, and we're not from here. We just moved here in 2014 uh, and fell in love with the community because of that sense of pride and that sense of ownership and that sense of collaboration. And, and, and as the hotel closed eventually in 1971, reopened in 78, and it's been a couple of different things until a local man named Dan Hornsey bought the hotel in 2016. And that was around the time that we moved our stores to the Mineral Springs Hotel. And in the last three years, we have been a part of the renaissance of this building and, and, and I say this modestly, uh, the renaissance of downtown Alton, whether it's the small business revolution, that great victory that all of the community benefits from, whether it's the notoriety of being one of the greatest places to retire uh, in the country, uh, whether it's you know, the unfortunate notoriety of the flood that, that we've experienced this year. The community of Alton is vibrant and it's growing and, and, and people here count on each other and rely upon each other. And, and so the Mineral Springs Hotel is a part of that community story. No one owns anything here. Everyone owns a piece of it and everyone owns a piece of the history. And, and that's why people like to come here and investigate because they can, they can experience Alton's, Alton's history just by, by coming to one place. When we opened the stores here in, in, in 2016, we, we, whether we wanted to do it or not, we became involved in the paranormal community. It's a big part of what this building is. It's one of the biggest draws for not only this building, but for the community at large. So Dave and I challenge you, paranormal lovers, things that go bump in the night, seekers, to come to Alton and to not only hear a story, but go on any of those tours or any of those investigations. And if you're faint of heart, then come to Mineral Springs in the daytime, which is actually more haunted than it is at night, uh, and, and come up with your own story about what happens. My name is Troy Taylor. I am the creator of the Alton Hauntings Tour. I wrote the book Haunted Alton, and uh, I've been doing ghost tours for 26 years now, so 20 of those years in Alton. So. 
I actually had an interest in Alton before I ever moved down here. I moved down here in 1998 and um, I had heard the stories about hauntings and ghosts and all of the history here in Alton. I had a friend who at the time owned a trolley company in town and so I came down and went on a tour with him and then when I moved down here he said, oh you let's do tours together and I said, oh no I don't want to do any ghost tours down here. I've been doing them for years already and next thing you know I'm doing tours. <laughs> so it's just kind of been an ongoing thing but I I really love this area. It is one of my favorite, it's, it's definitely my favorite part of the state of Illinois. It's one of my favorite places in the country. Um, I find that anytime you've got a, an old city like this right on a river it's just ripe for ghost stories. And with all of the history that Alton has of the uh, diseases and the deaths and the, you know, the Civil War and all these things that have added up over the years, you know, if you've got this great tapestry of history, um, that just lends itself to ghost stories and to hauntings. And it's just, it's a great place. We actually do ghost tours all year round here in Alton. Um, we do our walking tours in the spring, summer, and the fall, and we do a ghost tour on a bus in the winter months and in the fall months called the Ghosts of the River Road Tour, which is actually a dinner tour that takes people from Alton and we go up to Grafton and we do ghost stories all the way along the Mississippi River because there are so many stories, you know, along the river anywhere in the country, but especially along the Mississippi. And that's a nice little stretch for us here in Alton. Uh, so we do those. We also do um, a, a tour that is dinner and, and a couple of ghost hunts at a couple of different locations here in town and that's kind of interchangeable. So uh, we just try to pick a couple of the most haunted places to take people to and let them actually experience it firsthand. Uh, we also do um, bus tours. We, uh, we've started a Spirits of the Civil War ghost tour. Uh, we have a regular ghost tour um, that's on a bus. So it's we, we do a lot of different things, um, ghost hunts at the Mineral Springs and different places. So it's, it's something that keeps us busy all year round here in Alton. And it's a great place for people to come and visit. We get people from out of state and from all over Illinois. A lot of people from Chicago come down because they've heard about Alton. It's that, you know, the, the one of the most haunted small towns in America. So it draws a lot of people because of the ghosts. If I had to tell you the scariest place in town is definitely the First Unitarian Church. Going in there after dark and spending some time with, with Reverend Mercer um, is not always a pleasant experience. For those who don't know the story, in 1936, a, a minister actually um, took his own life inside the church. Um, and he, he's, honestly, I believe he's never left. And a lot of people have encountered him and experienced him. That's, it's kind of a common thing on our tours. Uh, where people will leave with an experience. And I talk to people all the time, like, oh yeah, hey, we went on your tour down in Alton, and boy, that church sure is creepy. But it's a beautiful, in the daytime, it's a beautiful place, great people. Um, there's nothing about it that seems frightening, but under the right circumstances, it's a very unnerving place. Well, we always tell people if you're coming on a ghost tour in Alton that you need to make sure you're wearing good walking shoes um, because we don't have right or left hand turns here. We have uphill and downhill turns. So that's the number one thing. Um, we always suggest you can bring a flashlight if you like. Uh, we always tell everybody to bring a camera because there are so many things to take pictures of, not even just the ghosts, but so many beautiful homes and buildings and landscapes here that um, cameras are a must. We have a lot of haunted houses in Alton, and I think there's, you know, several reasons for that. First, you've got all the history that we've got. As, as I've mentioned, you, you have all these things that have happened here that have left an impression behind. You've got the water, which is a big part of it, and, you know, we're built right on all of these limestone bluffs. Again, that's something that stores up all that energy. So Alton is kind of like a big storage battery. You know, that is all of these events that have happened have sort of absorbed into the, the actual physical Alton. And so then it replays itself, you know, like an old film loop or an old recording. And so people see and hear and experience things. And we seem to just attract, I wouldn't even say it's a dark element or a scary element. It's just history's left a piece of itself behind here. And that's what makes Alton so haunted.
name is Sharon Ludke, and I am the proud owner of the McPike Mansion. I feel honored to own it. I think it's a privilege. We drive by here, and we kept seeing the auction sign, and so the day of the auction, I call my husband. Honey, come on home, I want to go to this auction. Well, he didn't know I was going to bid. So really, it was a very, very impulsive thing, but, you know, I have always felt, I think, that it was my job to restore the house. Um, I didn't really know it was haunted four to six days later after we bought it. I was not thrilled. I am really a big chicken. <laughs> it's not really my house, it's Henry's house. So I think he just needs someone to help get it restored. But I used to go in the house and say out loud, listen you guys, if you want this house fixed up, you better not scare me. Because if you scare me, I'm out of here. Um, about seven or eight weeks after I bought the house is when I saw a man in the window on the second floor. So I would say over time, I've developed a relationship with the spirits of this house. Henry Guest McPike had this house built in 1869. It took two to three years to be built. It was really a country estate at the time. He had 15, 23 acres here. Uh, he had vineyards and orchards, and he was a very important part of this community. He did a lot. You know, he loved Mary, his first wife, very much. Um, they had five children together. Two of them died at a young age. Well, essentially, we tell them the history of the house and show them pictures of former residents and some of our ghost pictures. And then we do a darkroom session in the cellar for 30 to 40 minutes. There's something to be said about the skeptics because, you know, there are people who have come who were skeptics, who, who left and they weren't skeptics anymore. You know, this one guy got touched and <laughs> he wasn't a skeptic anymore after that. The nicest thing about owning McPike Mansion is meeting all the nice people. And that is the truth. And I think Henry feels the same way. I really do feel that way. I'm Marlene Lewis. I'm one of the founders of Alton Haunted Odyssey. Uh, we started 27 years ago. My business partner then was Antoinette, a local psychic, and she retired and now my business partner is Gary Hawkins, one of the uh, tour guides that has been with us for many, many years. Part of what is unique about our business is that we do a different tour every year. So we have quite a few stops that we've been to. Obviously the location we're in. Uh, been to the Cracker Factory, the Enos Apartment Building, um, the Unitarian Church, I mean just all kinds of places, the McPike Mansion. Because with the trolley we're also not strapped to just downtown area. Some of our tours are just what we call bare bones, which is a three hour tour of Alton. We always include three stops where people can get off the trolley and do a little hands-on investigation of their own. And then we uh, also have a dinner tour, and dinner is downstairs, and it's always a wonderful meal. So the most mind-blowing experiences that I've had have been at the McPike Mansion. And um, one night, we were there with the tour group, and Antoinette, we had some skeptics in the group, and Antoinette at one time said, and she was talking to the spirits in the house and she said, can you do something that all of us can experience in the same way? And this diaphanous figure of a woman came down the stairs. Um, it really was almost Hollywoodish. The wind was blowing her clothing and her hair and I remember the, like a really iridescent blue color about her 
and we all stood there spellbound. And to this day, people will come on our tours and they'll say, I was there that one night, and I know exactly which night they're talking about. This building was constructed by a man named Simeon Ryder. Uh, believe it or not, originally this used to be a courthouse. Abraham Lincoln practiced law here. It's been numerous things over the years. It was a floral shop for many, many years. A lot of people don't know that in 1902, they had a carpet and furniture store open up here. And in the basement, they had a morgue. So they were embalming bodies downstairs where the kitchen is now for the, for the restaurant. The best thing they could bring with them is an open mind. Like Antoinette always told us, mind is like a parachute, has to be open to work. It's fine to be skeptical. I have been myself. Even now, I you know, go to certain locations and something doesn't feel right, I'm going to question it. But keep the mind open. Because if you close it, nothing will ever happen and you'll be a skeptic forever. So our website address is altonhauntedodyssey.com or you can also reach it by altonhauntedtours.com and we update it with our tour dates and when we have confirmed our locations, which change every year, we include that information on the website as well. Tours all take place on trolleys because for some reason everything looks more interesting when you're inside a trolley looking out. And it kind of ties into some of the periods of the stories that we'll be telling on the tours. Somebody once said, you know, asking about how haunted is Alton, and, and I believe it was Antoinette that said, why don't I tell you the buildings that aren't, it won't take as long. So, <laughs> Alton is a very haunted town. It, it's even been um, said that at one time it's possibly the most haunted small town in America.